welcome 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 back to the channel guys jimmy flipping deals back at it again day two of workation this is my vacation away from work that way i can get done on q4 prep or at least get as close as i can so uh, i am heading to drop off some packages kind of had a light day yesterday so far as far as confirmed sales I do have an accepted offer that will uh, make a very nice sale once I get it <clears throat> but I don't have it yet so I'm not counting it uh, when it comes through if it comes through it's like 60 bucks uh, to put a box in a box so happy about that uh, about a $36 investment so uh, almost not quite but almost double my money or excuse me triple you know uh, so uh, uh, super excited about that once it happens when I seen the deal, I knew it was a good one. Uh, it's just been a waiting game to uh, to find the right buyer. But nevertheless, uh, at any rate, day two, heading to drop off some packages. Do want to talk a little bit on a couple different things. Uh, UPS claims. I don't know what y'all's experience with them. With uh, with the post office claims, it was it was frictionless, man. Uh, just seamless. It, it, it was boom, boom, boom. I think I spent five minutes all in all. Uh, this is the second time I've had to do a UPS claim. This one was for a lost box. Cost me uh, uh, 56 bucks so far. And the first one cost me $65. And I never got that back. Matter of fact, they finally said, well, you waited too long and we're not giving you your money back. And I've been trying for three weeks to get it done. Uh, definitely more labor. Uh, the, than what it what it should have been. Now, uh, to be perfectly transparent, I don't have a UPS account. I, I go through Pirate Ship, uh, and I believe that's where the issue is. They uh, say that well, when I get in there to file a claim, it says you can't file a claim this way. You got to call the 800 number. On the paperwork, it says you can't email or uh, or, or fax anymore but it won't let you do the claim by, by computer. Uh, and then you said, I, I've spent time on hold. Anyway, I got about two hours into this $50 box and I'm about ready to cut my losses, but I, I do know that uh, going forward, if, uh, and I'm frustrated with it, uh, going forward, if the post office is, you know, uh, marginally close in price I'm just gonna go with them it's absolutely ridiculous the UPS customer service has been an absolute nightmare of a joke to to try to get a package resolved first one they broke the second one they lost now I, I, I do a lot of business with them I mean for me it's a lot you know there, there's days that I send you know uh, five six packages uh, right now I've got uh, one, only one, uh, going to Chicago uh, today. But like I said, today's a light day. Uh, on a weekly basis, it, it, it's definitely 20 packages or more. So I'm not a super large shipper, but I, I'm not just an average Joe either that sends one a month or something. Uh, and it's so frustrating when uh, when all that money goes down the drain. You know, I, I lost cost of goods. I, I've, I've lost the sale. I've disappointed a customer. Customer acquisition is one of the most expensive uh, things in my business. And uh, to, to damage that relationship because of a carrier is, is uh, beyond frustrating. Uh, but anyway, uh, if y'all have pirate ship and y'all have experienced UPS claims, and know a faster, more efficient way to get it done, uh, please let me know. Uh, short of that, get off of that rant. <laughs> I mean, because really I'm at the point of throwing my hands up because I make more money not dealing with their uh, inability to, to, to drop the package than, than what it would cost to mess with them. At any rate, um, to do, to do. oh, that, that one that I told you was, uh, I had like 35, 36 bucks in, uh, ended up selling uh, once the payment is confirmed, if the payment's confirmed, uh, for fair market value, right around $125. Uh, and uh, that should net me, even after fees and uh, 
shipping somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 plus dollars. It's a, I don't even think it's a, a pound rate, uh, but let's figure 10 in shipping. So uh, very, very nice profit. Only issue with that is I have a bad habit sometimes of listing while I'm standing in line. I'll go ahead and enter the barcodes and enter them in and, and get her done, so to speak. And then I put it in the back of the truck. And occasionally, like it, the, the knives that I uh, had in the back, uh, <laughs> that I had to go searching for when the, with a the mountain of merchandise. Uh, at any rate, it was somewhere in the back of this truck last night. And I backfilled, or I don't know, that's not the right word. I filled up five totes that are now sitting outside, six totes that are now sitting outside with a lot of the stuff that was in the back just digging this stuff out, trying to find that one box. Uh, these are the the totes that I'm going to be working through on this vacation, uh, but uh, I did find it, which is a plus. But I did, I, I wasn't 100% sure it was in the truck. I really thought, uh, you know how uh, uh, when you really want something, your, your mind will try to figure out, at least mine does, try to figure out how to make it happen. I, uh, I could remember touching the item. I could remember putting it in a tote. So I had to go through all 40 something totes, almost, almost 50 at this point, uh, to, uh, and 27 gallons. So I'm, I'm digging everything out and putting it back in. The process took me a, a solid hour of uh, work, maybe more, trying to find this item, which you know just goes to show me that that process of listing while I'm standing in line uh, needs work. Not to say that it can't happen, but I need to have uh, totes for that to happen. That way I can go ahead and do the full process of entering it also into my inventory management or at least entering it into truck inventory management. I mean, that way the designation is truck rather than a particular tote. A particular tote would save time, but even truck would allow me not to dig through that uh, <laughs> almost 50 totes at the moment trying to find those things because as it sits that that makes that one un, not necessarily unprofitable but just not as profitable as it could be uh, but this is a learning experience I, I, uh, I, I'm just past my first year I'm, I'm still learning how to refine my processes to make things more efficient and I, uh, I, I paid for a lesson this time let me go drop off my packages I'll be right back All right. Oh, I didn't show y'all. You see what my doggy did to me? <laughs> I didn't even know it. My wife's like, you are leaking. I think she said bleeding, but I like the word leaking. Uh, <laughs> so, man, that one wasn't there. All right, she must have just pulled up. Either that or teleported. That red car behind me, teleported. I've never seen that sucker. Don't back into me. Okay. Oh, something moved around the truck and I thought I hit that car. <laughs> All right, so off to my one of my favorite stores. That way I can upload this video. Uh, I have noticed during that and and over the last couple weeks as things have geared up uh, that there is definitely a need for inventory. Yesterday when I was looking through things, I found things that were no longer in inventory. You know, like I had two sets of two, uh, uh, of a lot of, t what am I trying to say? I had a listing that said, you know, two packs of these lights and I had put two in the, in the inventory. Then when I sold one of the two boxes, you know, the, the one set of those two boxes, I took the whole thing out of inventory months and months ago and it's sitting in there when I open up the tote smiling at me and I, I scanned the barcode with my phone and it said no inventory found you know uh, I wonder how many are like that and and because of I've been moving fast I've been moving tired uh, I know I've seen where mistakes have been made uh, where I've had to uh, uh, 
outsource product on the fly in order to to fill a customer's demand because I can't seem to find my product. Uh, yesterday, I ended up canceling a book because I couldn't find it. I told y'all I'm out of the book business. I think I, 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 I told you about that one, but I ended up having to cancel the order and that's just not like me. Uh, now, over you know a year and, and we're coming up to, to 15 months now, um, you know, the mistakes, uh, there's more and more of them, and I'm human like everybody else, so I definitely need an inventory, uh, but I'm not doing it before Christmas. You know, I know that uh, the, the, that by not doing it at the moment, and, and I'm just, I, I need to move too fast, um, and I know that uh, not doing inventory now, because I already see problems, will present bumps in the road. Uh, that, that are, are not great. Uh, however, uh, if you think about them as bumps or hurdles, uh, I, I found a, as, a, as a kid, as a new driver, with speed bumps, that you slow down and you, you, you hit them and you bounce up and you, you go over them at about you know, five miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, uh, and you slow down and you, you take the, the speed bumps right uh, and, and that's what uh, slowing down to uh, for inventory uh, sounds like in essence it, it is dealing with the hurdle as it comes uh, but with, with Christmas ramping up I also found something as a new driver equally as true <laughs> y'all might like this one if you hit them speed bumps at about 70, 80 miles an hour, you don't even feel them. <laughs> right? So what I'm saying is, uh, it's time for wheels off. We're just gonna go fast. Uh, volume and velocity and sales cures all. So uh, we'll handle the hurdles as, as, I, as I hit them and we're gonna hit them at full steam. And after the Christmas season slows down, uh, I'll do inventory. Until then, I'm not going to use my old totes for new merchandise. Uh, as the Christmas season uh, wears on, those totes hopefully and, and have shown to be emptying, uh, which will make uh, less inventory for me to count. So in essence, the rollout totes will be accurate because they're new and the old totes uh, will have less things in them so it'll be easier to count after Christmas. That's the plan. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna work real well. Uh, up until next time, I have thought about the giveaway thing. Uh, I am going, because I'm gonna do it on here, I am gonna make it where my mom is eligible but I'm gonna do a blind one right here with y'all with like names and a hat and I'll show you the names, I'll show you the hat. We're gonna make it as fair as possible, but since she is my first and most loyal viewer, she is also gonna be entered into the contest. Uh, I am gonna get several things uh, to give away and I'm gonna have y'all choose uh, out of those, the winning person can choose what they want out of like five or six things and that I will send to them uh, absolutely free. Uh, but here is the new kicker. It's gonna take a total, moms included, of five people that comment the word giveaway and, here's the new, and subscribe. So mom has definitely subscribed. <laughs> She's one of the two. Uh, and uh, four more people that either are a subscriber, which uh, the, there's only one other subscriber, so uh, either you are a subscriber or you're going to be a subscriber, you know, by, by clicking the subscribe button and, uh, and commenting the word giveaway to be eligible for the giveaway. And as soon as I get five people, I will do a giveaway. So there it is. I like that. Y'all have a wonderful day. That's all I got for today. It's vacation time, man. I slept in today. Matter of fact, the dog was getting frustrated, whining and pawing at me. 
And I just rolled over like a burrito. Mm -hmm. Yep, done. <laughs> All right, guys, see you tomorrow.